Today I'm showing the steps I do to do my bezels. First off, I start with painter's tape. I fold the edges so you have an easier grip as we're working through the process of creating the bezels. Then look which side of the bezel is the flat side. From there, lay it on the back side down on the sticky part of the tape and push gently down. Then after you push it down, flip it over and then from there, you'll push down the edges so there will be no leaks when putting the resin. If you're able to see the outline of your bezel clearly, that means it's sealed. Be very careful around where the hook is for the attachment, add extra pressure around that area. As you can see, I'm using my nails adding a light pressure along the edges. Um, some people use their tools like the dotting tools, sometimes I do, but I find it easier if your nails are long enough, you'll be able to do it. For the resin, I use Easy Clear Cast 2 Part Resin. Once I have them equally amounted correctly, I then mix the resin into the hardener. The reason for this is because some resin gets left in the cup, and at least I know there's enough hardener left. It's better to lose some resin over the hardener in my opinion. Once they are in the same cup, begin to mix it. It will first become foggy, but mix it long enough for about 2-3 to three minutes and it will become clear. Mix slowly and make sure to scrape all the edges. Uh, don't worry about the bubbles in the resin. Once the resin is mixed, uh, choose what you want to put inside the resin. For me, I am choosing some pastel glitter that I have from Recollections at Michael's. Lay your bezel in front of you and get the resin ready. I use a popsicle stick, but you can use whatever you normally use for resin. So using the popsicle stick, add the resin into the bezel. Add just enough, but do not fill it all the way. I fill mine about 75% of the actual bezel itself, then push all the resin to the edges of the bezel. As you can see, there are still some bubbles left in the resin. Using a lighter, carefully glide over it, but do not keep the fire on it long. Then you can see there are still some few bubbles left in the resin piece. Get the popsicle stick and then push against the bubbles. I push my bubbles and then twirl them to the middle so they rise up. Then after you get all those stubborn bubbles that are left inside of there, get the lighter again and then you should be able to pop the rest of them out. From this point, Get the glitter that you have picked from earlier. You can now begin adding it to the resin. For this piece, I wanted a pastel theme, so what I am doing is taking each color and spreading them around into different sections. Glitter spreads naturally, so you don't have to worry about mixing it into the actual resin itself. Now that we have the glitter all set inside, you can choose whatever you want to add inside of it, such as rhinestones, gems, pearls, etc. It's all based on how you want it to look, but for me, I'm going off of a color theme, kind of choosing pastel, bright, shiny objects to put inside. If you're wondering where I get any of my items that I put inside my bezels, um, honestly, I just go to Etsy and just look them up. You'll find a bunch of random shops that have them, but I have no actual personal shop I get my supplies from. So I got this little tool from Michaels in the clay section. I like using it because it's like rubber, so the resin doesn't stick to it. But what I do is I use this tool and I stick all my gems inside my resin. Um, just a tip, I know I didn't do it in this video, but I kind of pre-dip it so that way the little gems stick to it. And then just place it according to how you want the actual piece to look itself. Uh, see how mine flip because normally I do dip it in resin first that way it picks up on the top That way it places easier But don't worry about touching the glitter. It'll naturally form back to how you put it in and it'll go around the actual gems itself So now we have all the gems inside the resin piece. Go over it with a lighter one more time to pop any extra bubbles from putting the gems in. And then I will let it dry for about 12 to 16 hours. So I let this piece dry for about 16 hours and it's nice and hard. You can touch the front to make sure it is kind of dry. Then just peel your tape off. And because we press the edges really well, 
um, we didn't have any leaks or spills so it actually came out really nice and clean so this is ready to be domed on the back you can see all the pastel colors and the gems as well since this is a resin tutorial I wanted to show you what happens when you do have leaks and don't seal it up properly um, so here's a bunny bezel what you can do is when you have leaks you can actually scrape it with your finger as long as it's not fully a 24 hour dry but it's dry enough to be able to touch it you can peel the edges off just as I'm doing so with my fingernails just scrape it off it's kind of like dry glue so it's not that hard to peel off honestly um, it's just an easy peel off and then it comes clean after you like get all the edges and such don't use anything else honestly to kind of peel it because I know some people say they use nail polish remover to clean the edges but if it touches your main actual inside piece it'll destroy the inside of it itself So on the top where you can't peel it with your fingernail, I get my needle tool and then I kind of like poke at it. Make sure to poke away and be careful because um, it'll naturally just come off. Just keep poking at it until it comes off and eventually it'll come out clean like the rest of the edges. You see how I'm being very careful with it. And then just flip it over then you can get the other side, the ones that you can't reach. So here's what it looks like after it's clean and all the edges are scraped off with your fingernail. All nice and pretty. You can scrape a little bit more if you want. I like my pieces as clean as possible, but I mean you're going to dome it over with more resin, so you don't have to, but it's more up to your choice. And that's how I clean my bezels. It's all cleaned up and ready to go, and now we're ready to dome. So I bought the silicone mat on Amazon. I use it to dome my pieces because that way if resin falls off on the side, it falls into the cracks of the actual mat itself and doesn't get on the piece. So I made another set of two-part resin um, and then I'm gonna add a couple drops to the back of the bezels itself. I push the resin along the edges, that way I can dome the back of it. Once you have it fully all over the back of it, then you can let it sit and dry for about 24 hours since this is an official back, you want it fully dry. 24 hours is a safe amount of time to make sure it's sturdy and completely dry, that way you don't have any spills or have it sticky as well. So we'll just wait 24 hours and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the bezel. So now we have it, we waited 24 hours. And here we go, here's what it looks like, all glazed and shiny on the front and back. I normally don't glaze the front of my bezel, it depends on the pigment itself, but this one I actually like it without it since the glitter is sunken into the resin. But there we go, we have our kitty bezel. Thank you for watching everyone!